One second, my ears are still ringing. The Flying Swords of Dragon Gate. This is the latest Jet Li movie. I saw this with my best friend who loves Jet Li. He loves martial arts films, he does jujitsu, and so me being a lover of martial arts films and Jet Li thought, let's go and see it. It was playing in IMAX 3D and I figured, hey, a martial arts film in 3D, that's, that could be badass. And what we got instead was a really stupid movie. This movie at times is entertaining, but the overall movie is just not good. And while Jet Li is in the film for longer than he was in Expendables 2, he is not the star of this film. Which is kind of contradictory to the fact that his name is right above the title of the film, the poster, or so you would think he's the star, when in fact he's really not. The acting overall and the script are crap. And as for the story, I mean, if you go on IMDb and read the synopsis, it makes sense, but during the film, you have no idea what is going on. You think one thing's happening when in fact another thing is happening, and by the end you just don't care. You just want to see people duking it out, you know? The action scenes are entertaining. There's a lot of CGI, a lot of like speeding up, slowing down, dramatic slow motion, and just really cheesy, just stuff that <laughs> makes you laugh. I guess it was intentional, but I mean, still, you, you just laugh your ass off at this stuff. And the 3D was pretty good too. I mean, for the most part, they're throwing knives at the screen, so you're just like, just blinking a lot, trying to focus on what's happening on screen. And the fight scenes are filmed well, it's edited well, you can comprehend what's going on. But one of the main issues with this film, and it is a huge issue, is the noise level. I mean, I've heard like Transformers and IMAX is loud, which it kind of was, and Dark Knight Rises and IMAX was loud, and kind of, sort of, yeah. But this movie, no joke, this movie was the loudest movie I've ever heard. D the noise level was just jacked up to like 20. And I don't know if that was a theater or just like the default when they were doing the movie, like they just jacked the noise level up for every single sound effect. Like the knives in this movie just are so freaking loud. And the music, oh my god, I'm okay. Here's the thing, if you saw the Dark Knight Rises and IMAX, the music was loud, yes, okay. Take that noise level, jack it up about two times that, maybe three times that. That's how loud the music in this movie is. It is so freaking loud, you just, you're gonna go deaf. And I feel like just in general, for this film, there was more of an emphasis on the costume design and the choreography than anything else. They just kind of put the story out there just because they had to have a story. There were some really beautiful shots in this film, some really good tracking shots, especially the opening shot. The opening shot was drop dead gorgeous. And then there were some really apparent CGI shots that were still really awesome to look at, but nonetheless CGI hell. So I'm gonna give the film two stars out of five. It is not a good movie by any means, but if you like martial arts films and if you like Jet Li, then you might enjoy it. I don't think it's in a very wide release, so you'll probably have to wait till Netflix, but if it's in an IMAX theater, then maybe check it out because the IMAX screen did help the experience. Then again, it did cost like 1750 to see the movie, so you know, it's really not worth that much. Up to you.